Yo guys, what's up? It's been a really long time since I've been back on YouTube. And to be honest, I've missed it a lot. But um, since I've been gone for such a long time, I actually got a new camera and I got the Sony A6300. Now, I've had this camera for almost like two months and to be quite honest, I didn't really like it in the beginning. But then I went through the rabbit hole, which is the internet, and I stumbled upon some cool profile uh, settings. Um, since I like shooting in s Lock 2, um, so yeah, it took me quite a while to figure this camera out because it was a bit tricky in the beginning, uh, obviously coming from Canon. But I stumbled upon a Leaming Lab Pro and they had some pretty cool stuff on their website. <clears throat> so you guys should definitely check it out. What I did is um, I used their picture profile settings, picture profile two. Uh, this is the Leaming LUT settings. So black level zero, S lock two, um, middle or black gamma. Um, let's just have a look here. So yeah, again, range middle. So I'm looking at knee auto, color mode is gamut. Saturation important, 30 saturation. Color phase stays as is. Color depth, change nothing there. Detail minus seven, I'll just up it a little bit in post. And that should be all your details. So if you just have it in like that, everything should work out pretty fine for you. And then you can just use the leaming LUTs. Just a quick going through everything real quick and save it on your memory. I like to use it for memory too. Then I know it is my s 2 footage. So hopefully that would help you. Also Zebras, lower limit, 100 plus, custom two. It's important for exposing to the right as Leaming LUTs, uh, you have to expose to the right with them. <clears throat> All the other stuff, settings on my camera stays basically just the same. And I went out today, probably shot like four clips. So please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Again, this is just going to be a short tutorial on how I like to color grade and my workflow. If you have any tips, also comment below, share with me. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, here we go. Let's jump right into this. So this is my first clip that I shot. It was a bit bright outside. As you can see, it's like two looking a bit flat. So what I would start off here is let's just work with our shadows a bit more and start dragging down that lift. Let's see, we're getting the image quite nicely. Um, next, I'm gonna have a look at my gain over here. Yeah, let's just drag that down till it's like at 7, 6, 8. Let's play a bit with our gamma. Yeah, that's looking good. Liking the look of that so far. Now what I will do is I'll just create another node. First of all, I'm going to go to my Leaming LUTs. Now I'm going to use video to full range. Pop that on. You can see it already changes the image a lot. It brings in quite a lot of contrast, which I like. And again, we're probably just gonna yeah, down that gain a bit more, play with the gamma. And you can see it's looking quite nice over here. <clears throat> Our last one, let's just create another node. We're gonna go to Leaming Lab Quick Fixes. Um, I normally like to play around with 102 or 103, but for today I will use 102. It gives a nice look on my image where I want it. Again, I'm just going to down my gain just a tiny bit here. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, gamma. Okay, you can see it changes our image really, really quickly. And it's a bit shaky, don't worry, I'll put on stabilizers. Now my image is looking a bit cool. It was shot on uh, Calvin 52000. I'm just gonna go back to my first LUT, just warm it up a little bit with our temperature. Let's make it 200. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. Now I'll also just add some saturation into it because it looks a bit bleak. 
just up it till 60 because this was shot in camera saturation 30 so there you can see that's basically my final image that i'm really happy with here that took me less than three minutes to grade um so hopefully this was really helpful for some of you out there that's struggling with your color grading and workflow again this is my preferred way of color grading i'm not saying that mine would work for everybody but this works for me and i've really done my research on this and yeah hopefully you guys like the image so let's have a look at those other clips and let me know what you think like subscribe comment if you have any tips please let me know i like to learn and until next week i will probably upload another tutorial so please let me know what you want to see but again this was my quick and easy color grading workflow so please hit that like and subscribe button share this video and again leave your comments below thank you very much and until next time i'm out